Release date. Death. Queen versus Queen. Fun with Jeffy. Near UK controversy. It's Clever Feed. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hey guys. And Ooh. our shoes. And our shoes. What are we doing with our shoes? I think honestly this is disgusting, but my shoes smell. So I'm smelling them. Mine don't. Do you want to smell my shoes? Oh, they do smell! They smell! Ah! Let's hop into the news! But In a quick coming soon update, Miley Cyrus revealed the official release date for her upcoming album, Bangers, and it will be... Oh, you guys wanted to know? Well, it's October 8th. The We Can't Stop singer hit Twitter to tease her followers about the good news, tweeting out, just received the official release date of Bangers, who wants to know? Well, obviously, Miley, everyone wants to know. So then, to keep her smilers happy, the triple threat followed up that tweet with hashtag bangers, hashtag October 8th. Who's excited? You guys stick with us on Clever Feed for nonstop updates. Spoiler alert! If you don't want to know what happened on Degrassi, hit fast forward now. Degrassi is one of, if not the most dramatic shows on television. And just when you thought you'd seen it all, shooting, stabbing, pregnancies, and then that whole g-string underwear thing. The unthinkable happens. One of Degrassi's most popular characters said goodbye last night. In a huge shot, guys, Adam died in a car accident after texting while driving. The character of Adam was already groundbreaking as he was the first ever transgender student at Degrassi High. And even though we know that people love Degrassi for its dedication to really go there with controversial and shocking storylines, we'd be lying if we said we weren't sad about this plot twist. What did you guys think? Hit us up in the comments and let us know. It's the Battle of the Queens! So who smells better, Katy Perry or Beyonce? It's a legit question! Katie just revealed the full commercial for her new fragrance, Killer Queen, and we would not be music fans if we didn't recognize the similarity to the Mrs. Carter World Tour promo for the fellow fabulous musician, Beyonce. They are both queens in my book. Fans have been making comparisons since the first KP teaser hit the public. Let's break them down. They're both rocking royal garb, jewels, hair for days, and they both happen to be getting their corsets tightened. And we hear that both the Killer Queen commercial and Mrs. Carter promo were directed by the same person, Jonas Ackerland. So does that make the similar theme more or less understandable? Take a closer look. below if you think there's room for two queens and click the link below to get more details on this new commercial for Killer Queen. The perfume that includes wild berries, dark plum, red flower, jasmine, plumeria, and patchouli, among other powerful and playful ingredients. Take a whip in late August. On the throne! We're definitely getting geared up for The X Factor, which is coming back with a two-night premiere on September 11th and September 12th. And we're really looking forward to seeing all of the judges interact. I am so excited. And if I'm being honest, I'm really excited to see our two favorites, Simon Cowell and Demi Lovato, duke it out on the stage. Totally. They're, they're so fun, though, together and so witty, yes. individually yes. and as a pair. It's so true. Mm -hmm. And let's just say that we were recently inspired to chat with Demi about this whole situation for the high five. Yeah! Woo! You and Simon have quite the back and forth and yes. quite the history. Yes. Now, if you could dress him up in any outfit, because we know he wears the same outfit all yes. the time, what would you dress him up as? Good lord. I don't know. I'd try, maybe try to dress him up as like James Bond or something. Because it's simple. It's not like too out of his element. Like, I would go for Nicki Minaj, but I know that he, would, he just wouldn't do it. I would love to see that. Please make it happen. I'm gonna try. I can't promise anything, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Don't forget to click the link below to check out the full episode of The High Five with Demi Lovato. Woo! Okay guys, it is time for the Hit Us Up segment, the segment where you interact with us, and then we interact with you. So yesterday we asked all of you what you thought about that whole Mirror UK controversy. 
The publication released a gossip story about Louis from One Direction's parents. And then we asked you guys whether or not you agreed with us and with him that family members of celebrities should just be off limits. And I have to say, you guys were super opinionated about this whole thing and there was definitely a consensus. So right now we are going to kick it off with Dewey-licious who said, I'm not really a directioner, but the Mirror UK is just embarrassing themselves. What were you thinking when you posted that thing? Everybody makes mistakes as long as the person keeps doing good things. The Mirror UK is in big trouble. The directioners won't let this down. Well guys, I have to say the directioners out there are very powerful because we told you yesterday the website for the Mirror UK was actually crashing, I mean, at least for a few hours, so I'm sure they're learning their lesson. Next comment comes from Flora Park, who says, reporters nor paparazzi should gossip or rumor about celebs' parents. Celebs are already dealing with a bunch, and of course, family would be their weakness. If someone would mess with my weakness, I'd destroy them, won't you? Nice job, Clever TV, not to break the news. I don't want to hear about it because it's personal. And to be honest, we should be thankful to those parents because without them, there wouldn't be any Logan Lerman, One Direction, Chris Evans, etc. Well, I love how we brought Logan Lerman and Chris Evans into this because that really makes me feel more dedicated. But again, guys, thanks for noticing that we didn't really put this story out there because we just don't really think it should be out there. The next comment comes from Music Days 21 who says, Louis totally did the right thing. The Mirror had absolutely no right to talk about his family like that. Even though I loved him a lot already, I love him even more because of this. I've never seen a celebrity defend their family like that, so kudos to Louis. I gotta say, I love this too. I just saw the One Dean movie, and I think the reason these guys are so awesome is because of their family. All right, last comment comes from Jamie Mendoza, who said this, don't mess with directioners. Girl, you said it. Yep, I did say it, and I do agree. Don't mess with directioners. Thank you guys so much for hitting us up on today's Friday episode of Clever Feed. We're looking forward to seeing you on Monday for a whole lot more. Until yes, then, I'm Clary Frey. And I'm Katniss Everdeen. May the odds be ever in your favor, especially this weekend. Bye guys. Get some sleep. <laughs>